Hello and welcome to my short Starfield video on how to get uh, a ridiculous amount of uh, money and experience from uh, essentially making your own giant mining corporation. So you're going to become the CEO of your own mining corporation and in doing so you're going to make uh, a ludicrous amount of resources which you can then turn into money and then uh, you're also going to get a bunch of experience points for making the resources so it all revolves around uh, in the end making these uh, iso centered magnets and to do that you need nickel and you need uh, cobalt so but uh, to start you need to get what you need to make uh, your storage containers and to make storage containers you mainly need uh, adaptive frames which require you to have uh, aluminum and iron so to start you need to go and uh, go here to uh, Kurtz which is a moon of one of the main planets or I should say the main planet of the game where essentially the story takes place uh, Jemison so you're gonna go to Kurtz and once you're on Kurtz, you're going to make your first facility here to mine uh, aluminum. So you make an outpost here to mine aluminum and uh, get it all connected together like how I'll show you in a minute. And then you're going to want to go to the soul system here and do a very similar thing on the moon, Earth's moon, which is called Luna. Here, this is a very iron-rich world, or uh, moon, I should say. So you're going to want to go here and make an outpost and uh, get a bunch of iron all stored up in containers. And then uh, at this point in the game, you're probably not going to have access to the uh, cargo links. So you're going to have to go back and forth between these worlds with a, essentially a giant cargo ship. You can just slap something together out of it doesn't have to move fast or even have weapons on it just slap a bunch of cargo containers together put an engine on it and a grab drive and a shield and then just that's all you need as long as you have space to store stuff just uh... uh should you get attacked by something just grab jump to another system just as long as you got a decent shield and you're, you're good to go so just uh... make yourself a giant cargo ship essentially and just uh, use that to go between these worlds so now you got your iron and your aluminum from uh, the moon and from uh, well the moon of the other world Kurtz is the moon so you get those and you're gonna wanna go to to Venus once you get your system set up which yes I, as you can tell Venus has nickel and cobalt which are the two uh, resources that you need but it's also a hazardous environment so unless you have the proper uh, skills from the skill tree you are not going to be able to outright build uh, a mining outpost here it's going to be too hot for you to do that so you're going to want to go to uh, well the civilian outpost and I'll show you why here so we're going to land on the civilian outpost So here on Venus, that's where we're at. Hmm. Man, I ended up being pretty far away from my ship. Well, anyway, we're going to have to run back there real quick, so you're just going to have to excuse me. While I get over there. I guess I could just fast travel there. Anyway. I have something for you. So here, we're on our ship now. On the planet Venus. It's very important that you're on the planet Venus. So, on the planet Venus, like I said, in your ship, go to any chair in the entire, on the entire ship, wherever you want to be. 
and sit. So Venus has a ridiculous uh, amount of uh, time per hour here because it rotates extremely slowly. So as you can see, one hour, which local, local hour means one Earth hour if you were on the planet Earth. So you're waiting 24 Earth hours equals 2,400 hours universe time or universal time is so and uh, the game goes like resources are based resource generation from your extractors is based upon the universal time so if you just wait one day here on Venus in your ship which is 24 local hours you're getting 2400 hours worth of extraction out of your uh, resource extractors this is not a bug or a glitch or anything like that. That's just that's just how that is. I mean, unless they unless the developers eventually change how wait time works to where everything is the same, you know, which they they could do that down the road, I suppose, but right now how it is, it's all very realistic in that waiting 24 normal hours on Venus you would be waiting a ridiculous number of hours throughout the rest of the universe so essentially 2400 hours universal time just passed so my extractors on the planet level in uh, the Alpha Centauri universe uh, system are gonna be absolutely maxed out as would any extractors on any other planets like uh, the moon or Kurtz you're gonna have maxed out iron and maxed out aluminum respectively so we're gonna go ahead and uh, go to level though So now we're on uh, level here, and uh, we're going to go ahead and go to our outpost that we made on level. Level. You're going to be leveling on level. Hey, you might want this. So here we are. I'll show you this setup now, like uh, I said I was going to do earlier. very low gravity on this planet so let me open up the uh, outpost so your your outpost is going to be very similar on every single planet that you do this so here on level which has a lot of cobalt and nickel like I said you're gonna wanna find a place where you have cobalt and ni nickel so apparent like uh, you're gonna wanna land on the border of two uh, the deposits so here as you can see I have a lot of cobalt here and this blue patch here and I'm circling around and then I have some uh, nickel over here in this uh, very circular patch right here so you're gonna wanna find a place that has the two As you can see here, very close to each other. It might take you a couple, a little bit, because this is all randomly generated stuff. So you're going to build your extractors. You're going to power your extractors with solar panels here. And then you're going to connect all your extractors from one element, like I did here with the cobalt, to a central storage container. I, I you don't have to do it that way I did it for because I like to be organized and it's just more simplistic that way if I know 
I got them all connected to this one. I can easily tell if they're all connected to that one. So connect it to your main storage container and then you can connect that single container and you do that by highlighting the container and pressing uh, in my case right trigger since I'm using a controller and you're gonna drag that to you're gonna have to excuse my daughter there she was looking for the TV remote anyway grab uh, your storage container here with link like which I said is a right trigger for me on the controller drag it over here and connect it and then you're going to connect that to another one and connect that to another one and you're going to connect them all it can be a little tedious process but eventually you'll have connected them all to each other and then uh, I may have missed one here or maybe not so connect them all together and then at the very last one you connect that one to the central uh, transfer container here I forgot what it was called so <laughs> you connect everything to the transfer container and you're gonna do that for both your nickel and your cobalt same exact thing and then in front of it you'll build a uh, you'll build one of these little uh, workbenches here just don't mind any of the other stuff that's all just you don't need to have out the rest of that stuff I got myself a little outpost and stuff built here but you all you need to get started is the storage containers the extractors and power and this uh, transfer container build your industrial workbench right here outside of the uh, outside of the uh, right next to the transfer container and here you don't have to have the resources in your inventory as you can see I'll pick up these uh, 3667 uh, nickel here so I have it on me so here it is I have it on me right here so I'm gonna drop it so I dropped all of it now I don't have anything on me anymore no more resources on me at all if we leave a few things here and make there it is gone. fell to the ground so I don't have that on me anymore. Everything is inside this transfer container. And I don't know if this is intended or not, but the transfer container connects to this or and to your uh, essentially to your main inventory to where you can just build right out of it. So you get on your workbench. You'll be doing this when you're creating the adaptive frames. You'll get a, le a couple levels out of that from the aluminum and the iron and then uh, you go down to the magnets here and as you can see I have 999 nickel and 999 cobalt so I have thousands of each probably tens of thousands of each among all these storage containers so if you're on controller this is a tedious process but uh, you're just gonna want to do that and 99 XP every time you do it there's a much faster way to do it with mouse and keyboard though but also you're gonna wanna rest get your well rested bonus find some sort of uh, food or or drink or medicine or whatever you can find some sort of aid item to increase your XP I know there's a couple out there I can't remember what any of them are called but there's a couple out there so find one of those get rested to maximize your XP and then uh, if you're on controller uh, you're gonna be here a minute but if you're on computer you can just uh, bring the magnet up to the top of the list and rebind your keyboard uh, to have the mouse uh, confirm button as the mouse 3 which is what I did which is my mouse wheel click down and then uh, leave everything else the same so I can uh, left click here to drag this or I can just leave my mouse over here towards the end and click and it'll bring me up to the maximum amount and then I can click my mouse button and I can just sit here and make so many so many many of these magnets and as you can see I'm, you can see 800 XP uh, 980 XP 785 XP so as you're sitting here doing this, 
you just sit here you do this until you're out of uh, until you're out of materials which that's gonna take you a minute when you got a setup as big as mine and then you just go back to Venus and you rest and uh, then come back and do it again and you just rest and repeat rest and repeat and then you take your magnets to the trade authority or whatever your preferred vendor is that you have access to with the most credits and you just sell them and there you go you got money and you got experience and next thing you know you're gonna be level uh, might take a couple hours especially if you're on controller only and uh, next thing you know you're gonna be level 300 or level 100 or wherever you feel comfortable stopping and then you can start working on your skills and uh, having the skills you want so you can really enjoy the game without uh, being concerned about not having a skill doing this or not having a skill doing that or you know you picked a uh, hundred locks but you didn't have the lock pick skill so now you gotta go find a hundred more locks or whatever you know you know, just you can put one point into every skill so you don't have to stress about missing uh, missing something you're leveling up everything as you're going through the game while you're doing stuff so uh, there you go go ahead and uh, set up your mining outposts and make a bunch of money and get yourself your skills up and really really just be able to enjoy things and just have a good time you know all right uh, if you enjoyed this uh, please like and uh, uh, have a great day all right take care